As the 2017 Judo World Championships take place in Hungary, we visited the British Judo team before they jetted off and spoke to Nakoda Davis about her return from injury and the support she received along the way. You've had a bit of an injury hit year. You had surgeries on your thumb and your wrist. Yeah. How did you find the rehab period and getting back to full fitness? Um, yeah, it's been a challenge, really. Um, good ups and downs in it. Um, I think my first surgery was planned, so that was that one was a lot easier to kind of go through the rehab and get back and kind of. I knew my timelines. I knew my my year, uh, my my plan for the year, and what competitions I'd be doing, um, and everything went to plan really. And then it was at my first competition back from my wrist that I tore my thumb ligament, and that one was more of a surprise. So to kind of be in surgery, kind of six months after my wrist was a, a real shock that I didn't really set in straight away. Um, and I think mentally that was a lot harder. Um, so yeah, it's not been the funnest year. <laughs> and so, did you, how much time do you spend with physios to help get your thumb, your wrist back, back up to full strength and re recovering from the surgery? Yeah, so kind of straight after surgery, you have like two, two, three days. You know, it depends. I don't know when you're feeling um, up, up to come in for training again, but then you kind of straight back in, and um, physios and stuff have got you doing stuff kind of straight away, just kind of keep your mind focused. Um, but you can be coming every day and spend an hour and a half in the gym in the morning with the physio. Um, doing rehab, specific rehab, and then we'd spend most of our day with the, the, our physio, new physio here, Dave, who would run um, our conditioning sessions as well. So we've kind of still got a full program and with full support, really. You're never really kind of on your own, which, which is the best thing, really, when you're injured. Last thing you kind of want to do sometimes is come in for training, but if you know you've got the support there, then, you know, there's more motivation. Another vital discipline um, as well as physiotherapy is the performance analysis side of it all. Yeah. How um, impactful has that been and beneficial to your performance being able to watch things back on, on video? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's great because especially if you're having any low periods, it's good to watch at stuff where you've been winning at competitions, um, where you've been pulling off um, good techniques or, you know, um, you can kind of, there's been other times where I have been injured and I've come back from injuries and fought at competitions and fought really well. And that's really good kind of mental preparation for coming back from injuries, being able to watch that and see, well, if I've done it before, I could do it again. And, and also to kind of keep up with um, all the competitions and who's fighting and who's winning medals, you can watch back and start to analyse some of those players for when you do return to play. Um, you know, you're not kind of thrown in the deep end, you know exactly who you're going to be fighting and what they do. There's also another discipline, performance lifestyle, which is available um, for you guys. Do you, do you ever take advantage and speak to a, a performance lifestyle advisor as to either how to balance your life, non-sporting life and sporting life, or what potentially you might end up doing after judo? Yeah, so um, when I um, had my first surgery, I thought, and it was after the Olympics, I definitely thought um, I want to be doing something alongside judo. So I did look into starting a course at the university because we're on a university campus. Um, and then there wasn't really anything I wanted to do, so then um, Ruth got me to sign up for the Level 3 Judo course to take part in that. Um, so we kind of mapped out when the weekends would be and how that fit around my Judo plan. Um, and then, you know, all the dates fit, so I signed up for that and um, got the money from UK Sport actually to pay for the course. Um, so I'm doing that at the minute, so that's, that's pretty good. And it takes your mind off Judo, it's something else for you to focus on. And you're getting qualifications as well. For me, it's been kind of a massive help. And um, yeah, just grateful we've kind of got all these um, support networks and that we have all this support things that we can tap into to, to kind of supplement our judo.